it's time for more 151. I've probably been opening up a ton of this compared to like anything else, but I just, you know, it's out of the recent sets, it's the one I enjoy the most. It's probably one a lot of people enjoy the most, which is, you know, kind of like, of course, because it's 151. The original. But just, mm, the last couple sets with Scarlet and Violet for their main sets just aren't really that great. Uh, Paradox Shift is alright. Obsidian, I, not a, I don't care for the Charizard designs in it. Um, I've been lucky with them, but yeah, today we got three TBs of this that I'll be opening as I try to complete that master set. I am still quite a few cards off. I think I know I'm missing a lot. So hopefully I'll get closer with this before I decide I want to buy the singles instead. Besides this, I probably have at least another um, opening planned for 151. Um, after that, who knows, but we'll see. Um, I either do Venus or X off to a small start. A little bit of a precursor of it. what's coming. Let me rev it up here. But yeah. Maybe I'll open up a little bit more Cardox Rift. Maybe I'll try to open up some Japanese sets as we wait for the new set um, next year in January, being the Caldean Fates. I've only pre ordered, I think, the um, Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. I haven't pre ordered anything else for that right now. Kind of got to watch where I put um, money into, as I said in like, kind of the previous videos. So. That's why I only upload about once a week. As I kind of spread out my content, even if I record it in a kind of like a session. Um, it's just, yeah, I don't have all that money to put into it like I'd like. But, yeah, uh, I'm just kind of going with the flow, opening what I feel more than anything, and then people ever leave suggestions about stuff they like, then I might try it. I know some people like mystery box style stuff. I've tried that in the past with the Pokerev pack. And, um, uh, I think I did unlisted leaf Pokerev and, like, Poke Chloe. But they were just, I don't know, the price of them were just a little too much, especially importing them from, uh, like, the UK. And then, I don't know, I'm... It's already hard enough chasing out of packs, so chasing, you know, chase packs. Um, and then trying to chase chases cards out of a pack is a little, uh, a little rough, but I understand why people like it. I think when I did, I got, like, one or two reds, which isn't too bad, but if you get only green, then it's like, uh, it's, you spent $50 and you only get six packs, or seven, I forget, it's been a bit since I opened it, it's like five or six, I think, I think it's six, I could be wrong. And then, unless it's like, you know, ooh, gold, I think I need this one, nice. I think I need this, I could be wrong. I know it's not like a crazy one, I think I might already, what gold do I already have? I, do I have the gold? So I think I just need, like, out of the golds to switch now, which is kind of a man one. Obviously out of pulls, I'm hoping for the bigger ones. I've got the Charizard, which is nice. The Blastoise, I need the Venusaur SAR. Um, Erica, SAR. I need a lot of SARs. Zapdos. So, once I eventually get like the SARs, then that's probably, when, or SIRs, that's probably when I'll start more um, focusing on just buying singles. But I probably won't, like, ooh, I'm gonna, I think I might need this one to, no, I don't, I think I pulled this one. Once I get like a bit more filled out, I don't know. I was thinking, oh, maybe once I pull all the S SIRs, I'll <clears throat> just buy the rest, but that's probably not a good idea. I probably need to open a ton to get the rest, so I'm just kind of be just kind of when I feel is the right time. I think we got something in here. Hopefully, a nice SIR or a cool full art. Come on. Oh no, it's full art. Ooh, you full art Zapdos. Do I, I do I have full art Zapdos? I don't know. I think I might. I could be wrong. I honestly do not remember. <laughs> I 
have to go through and check. I know I have a list. A check off list. I know I'm missing a couple of reverses too, because I'm trying to get everything in reverse. I think I'm missing like five reverses. I could or maybe a little more. But yeah, hopefully if you guys have been open 151, you've been getting the pulls you've been hoping for. I definitely just really enjoy opening the set more than most others. At least most modern others, so. It's one I'm more than fine going back to. But like other sets, I don't know. I think maybe out of all the other 151, or um, not 151, Squall and Violet, maybe Paradox Rift, but like, I did that Black Friday opening and it was just, uh, it was just rough and that's definitely a thing where I don't think I want to, ooh, Charizard here, I think I need the normal EX, nice. And I think with Charizard, out of Charizards, I'm just missing the normal full art now. Um, I'm not counting the, like, I know I need like, a lot of the, um, Art rares for uh, the beginning evolutions. But yeah, out of the art rares, I think I'm missing just like Charmander, Charmeleon, and all that. I hope I got the rest. I wish I got this on a video, but um, one of the ETBs that I opened up didn't have the Snorlax promo in it, so only two out of the three had it, which is an interesting error. Which kind of sucks if you're getting like, like you're the one kid that gets like maybe one, and it's like, where's my promo card? And it's like, well, sorry, little. Jimmy, there ain't no promo card. <laughs> Pokemon Center has scammed you out of your Norlax promo card. I mean, I mean, I don't think it's an expensive promo card anyways, but still, it's kind of sucks. Ninetales. I don't know if I have Ninetales or not. I know there's a lot of random EXs I was missing. Well, not like a lot, but like two or three. Charizard was one. I don't know if Ninetales was one. Um, I don't know... Maybe one more after that. <laughs> oh, Zapdos. I think I just don't have. I don't think I have normal Zapdos CX. Yeah, it's a lot of like weird random ones that I'm missing. Besides the hard to pull ones like the art rares. Ooh, Mr. Mine. <laughs> um, I don't know if I. Ha I think I have Mr. Mime already. I know for art rares, I miss it on, like I said, the Charmander, Charmeleon, two of like the bigger ones. Um, I think I'm missing one or two, I think it's Squirtle, no, I have all this, uh, Black Horse line, I think, actually. I think I'm missing Bulbasaur, because I think I have Ivysaur. Um, I don't remember, like I said, I have my full master set um or that i'm working on have the list and everything because this is the one main set i definitely want a master set because it's what i like a lot come on abro dig drowsy Goal, Pinsa, Charmander, Jiggly, Mine, more of these hollows. There's so many of these hollow cards. I don't know why they put them in here. Just, <laughs> there's too many of them. And I, just, I guess if it's just like, oh, like, sparkly energies, it's, they made them so easy to get. It's like, we just should have made every energy card at that point. Because you'll get like one in every three. It's like, a, it's a nice hollow design. I just don't care for it on energy cards a whole lot. Oh man, this CTB slack, and I think I only got the Mime and the Ninetales so far. I will say it's definitely better than my worst CTB. I think the worst CTB I ever had of this it was one EX. I think it was a Jinx EX or like a King's Kong EX. That was the only hit I had of the ETB. I think it's on one of the videos too, but I don't remember. That is definitely the worst ETB for one five one I've ever had. But I remember, I remember back with uh, Sword and Shield sets, that kind of happened a lot, where you'd only get like one V card out of an entire ETB. That happened with like Evolving Skies a lot, <laughs> and like like Vivid Voltage or um, not, yeah, like Vivid Voltage and like 
I didn't open up. I, I didn't open up a ton of ETBs for that set though. But a lot of like the early Sword and Shield, like like Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain. I remember I'd get one V card out of an entire ETB. And it's just kind of deflating where it's just like, oh, I spent all this. I get one V card. <laughs> that's it. I think that's why they're doing like the promo card with Scarlet and Violet now. So it's like, oh, well, if you don't get hit, at least you got, you know, got your Stall Axe promo. Yeah, okay, that's a $3 promo right there. And maybe you got like a one EX. You got the King of Kong EX out of nine packs. But yeah, it is super rough sometimes. The print quality also on um, on five one can just be so poor. Unfortunately, like look at that out of the pack. There's a, a nasty ding right there. Like you don't want to like gosh. They really needed to step up their quality when it came to this because this is a set I know a lot of people like. And it's just. They're banged up to hell and back. It's, I, think, I, I think that was an issue with the Charizard EX um, SIR, SIR that I got. I think I know. I looked at it and I was like, "Ooh, I cannot read this." But I needed it for the binder anyway, so still sucks. It's like get such a cool card and the condition is just oof. All right, well that ETB wasn't the best, but not the worst at least. As we slowly get down to the last ETB. Hopefully I can get I'm hoping I can get one SIR when I'm missing. I know I'm missing quite a few and those are gonna make up the bulk of what I'm gonna be missing out of this set for a while. And it's like when it comes to this, it's like when I don't get something, I wanna keep going till I get it. Compared to like Scarlet and Violet or like Paldea where I, if I don't get um like the Iono or the Miriam, it's just kind of like, eh, I don't really want to chase for those. Or this, it's like, I want to chase for that Venusaur. I want to chase for the Erica, the Giovanni SR, the Zapdos SR is another one. I know I'm missing. Man, why does that energy card feel so, like, grimy? <laughs> I felt, I put my thumb on it, that green. Green energy card. I feel like the most grimy card I've ever felt. Oh, come on. But yeah, I definitely want to get more 151, even if I just hold it for like a sealed collection because I know just, just like, one of the sets of, in, in the future is probably going to be a one a lot of people like to look back on. Especially people that kind of got back into it. Because of the set. And right now you can still find ETBs for like I think 50, so at least it's still at the market, not compared to like back in the say if this was like released in 2020, man. It'd be just oh I got something. I think it's just normal floor. I kinda jinxed it or um ruined it. I said jinx, so I'm gonna I'm gonna laugh if it's actually a jinx floor. Because I think it's a normal floor. Yeah. Oh, Alakazam. Nice. I don't know if I have Alakazam. Oh, that's another SR I need. Alakazam. Which is another really cool one. Here, I'm going to put you there. So many SIRs. Missing so many. I think that's a normal EX, too. I think I already... I don't know if I have that regular EX, though. I know the Zapdos is a random one. Like I said, I was missing... But yeah, I don't know how much 151 you guys still want to see. Like I said, I have one, at least one more video after this. Um, but knowing me, Jinx CX. There'll probably be more. Because I, I do like the set, so. But if you want to see something different, or want to see something different about it, like. There's one thing from um, 151 that I'm missing um, product wise that I've opened, and that's the poster collection. But it's only three packs, and. It's just not worth it too much to me. That's why it's the one thing I haven't really opened. Um, I don't know if anyone, if you would want to see it, just so I can complete it anyway. Like opening up all the 151 products, not in like one video. That might be an okay video. I've seen a video like that before, but um, like, ooh, gold switch, nice. Aerodactyl. I think that's all the gold cards now. 
I think I have all the gold cards. I think I'm pretty sure I got Mew before. So there goes all the secret rares. So now if I see gold, I only want to see Mew. I don't really want to see uh, <laughs> any more switches or energies, but it's probably not going to go that way, the way I want. Come on. Can I still get another big hit in here? Coming down to the last couple of packs. Hope you guys enjoy 151. But yeah, if I do like, I don't know, I, it would, I don't know if I don't. Ooh, Squirtle, nice. I think I already have Squirtle, maybe, but I really like Squirtle. So, that's a really nice card. There we go. This was a good ETB, at least. The last two. But yeah, I don't know. That might be one I wouldn't be able to, like, do in one video. I know a lot of people probably like to see that one video open one of every single product. Which I've seen done. But if I do like the binder collection, at least over the course of the channel, I've opened one of every single 151 product um, through its release. Gyarados. But other than that, I don't know. Um, other types of like 151 videos might be kind of interesting. Or just, you know, in general, finding end up people do like new tins and new boxes. I don't usually get those a lot anymore. It's kind of, unless they come with packs that I kind of like, but there's so many modern Scarlet and Violet ones, um, I'm caring to get like, you know, like the Salamancy Xbox, stuff like that. But it might make something at least a little different. I'm not sure. And we're going to end on, come on, a Dojo. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more 151, leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.